Hello my dear Tauresians, welcome back to the Illus Illuminator. So we are going to do the he says she says spread. This will include your part and whomever you are dealing with. We will have an extended, but let's just get started with the reading. I see you guys are very stressed out and worn out because of a fight. It's like a continuation of battles. Uh, and you you're getting really tired all right like you I, I feel like you're almost about to lose or not to lose I'm sorry you're almost about to give up okay you are highly protecting yourself and your energy from people that are trying to you know hurt you or accuse you there is a lot of accusations going on is what I'm feeling and you feel the need to withdraw you feel the need to build up a wall and just focus on work, focus on other th areas of your life. Now, what I was also getting for you guys is that either some of you have already found a job that is very emotionally fulfilling or you're about to get that job that is emotionally fulfilling because you are broadening your skills and you are learning and you are studying and you are focusing on, um, you know, a different area than you used to focus on and whatever you're doing right now it is going to reap the rewards by you feeling very fulfilled and it's very very important to be emotionally fulfilled at a work i know that money is important but the moment you get emotional fulfillment out of it it, it will always be replenished you know what i mean so let's see some of you are having some fights within the home environment all right it could be like conflicts about if you are divorcing like who is getting what and that's kind of like tiring you all right so let's just get started with the reading and let's see what we got going on for my dear Theresians. what's the past energy what is the past energy for Taurus? yeah five of wands in the reverse you're stepping out of a situation that was having a lot of excuse me conflicts and a lot of adversities and you felt like you had to fight for someone's attention or you had you had a lot of competition all right it, could, it does not always pertain competition like with people or something it could also be that you were competing for someone's attention because they were too too much focused on work or family or another another area in their life and you constantly had to you know start up an argument and you kind of like got a bit tired that's what i'm getting this feels like you know i'd rather give up than to fight for something that i'm not receiving any results from like what am i fighting for is what i'm hearing and i, I also heard okay what up wow okay rewind i also heard of the phrase i like i'm leaving i'm leaving so i don't know who that is it might be you yeah, because this situation, all these conflicts, all these arguments, and these are a lot of pity arguments, it got you confused. Like, you're constantly thinking about what the other person said, and, like, it, it gives, like, a very agitated feeling, all right? Like, so you're very stuck in your mind about these conflicts because you feel like it's never-ending. Like, it's a never-ending story. You both don't seem to be on the same page or you haven't been on the same page for a long time according to the past But we do have the two cups here So I feel like both of you are fighting in order to get this connection a bit more fluid again and to come at right terms with one another but I feel like the ways that you both have been doing it has not been very beneficial for both of you like for the relationship but i feel like you both are trying to fight to come into union or some kind of an agreement with one another see we got again the five of swords and the three of pentacles here so <clears throat> a lot of conflict at the work front a lot of competition also from this other person Competitive nature is what I'm seeing here a lot. See, King of Cups with the Eight of Pentacles. Someone is working on their emotional stability. If they are not showing you any emotion right now, they're trying to maintain the control over their emotions. What's the past energy for the person that Taurus is dealing with? Judgment. Someone came around for a second chance or they saw some flaws that... Uh, 
um, make them change their behavior. This is someone that has been taking a review of the past and seeing things more like way more clear than they used to. So this is someone that has a high weight awareness and this also is indicating to past life. So a lot of past life issues could, could have come to the forefront. Past life or past. Four of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. So someone is making a firm decision. Here's the Eight of Cups. They're walking away because they need some separation time. All right, like this person needs to heal. This person needs to think. Or this was in the in the past. So like someone made the decision to you know cut the course for a second and retreat and start a healing process where they can feel more comfortable and more secure and moving forward. So there was a lot of healing from the past that was needed. That's why this person made the decision to, you know, walk away for a second. Four Swords is always like a temporary pause, all right? This is a temporary retreat in order to heal the past events so that they have some more, um, you know, more comfort in moving forward. But the reason of that is that someone was not feeling emotionally satisfied in the situation. <clears throat> okay. Wow. Ace of Wands with the Three of Cups. This is definitely a reconciliation. Like, some of you may not even want that. <laughs> I hear that a lot, but it is definitely something that is coming up. For others of you, if you are definitely not interested in the person, there is a lot of new opportunity, a lot of uh, outbursting energy coming from your end. All right, you're ready to take action and you're ready to change something within your own self. Like there is something that sparks your eye and it could be due to you know, you could be going out to party or you're meeting a lot of new people and there's a lot of enjoyment and, 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 and happiness coming from that. This is a good collaboration, all right? You can confide your feelings to your friends and your family and there's always like a new spark coming out from both your ends and it creates new ideas. So you might be even creating new ideas with friends and family, all right, to take on a new, um, you know, a new opportunity. So this is something that just like comes into the world as in like, hey, that's a good idea. Hey, maybe we should do that. Let, yeah, let's shake hands on it and let's just try to see where this is going. So that's kind of like an energy that I'm seeing, which is very, very positive. It's very, very positive. For others of you, I do definitely see you or someone else reaching out to, you know, come together and to discuss the feelings and to reignite that passion again. All right, this is someone handing out the olive branch towards you or you towards someone else. <clears throat> because whatever happened in the past, the, these pity conflicts or arguments it got you also confused and stuck and it, you're not in a very happy mood all right this is this could be indicating a bit depressed concerning what has happened here in the past and not feeling very happy like your soul is not very co content with what has whatever has happened and it because of whatever has happened you've lost a bit of your vitality so this ace of wands gives like this you know outburst of energy which is very very positive for you you know something to look out for what is the current energy for this individual yeah there is a lot of communication that's going to come in all right this is again igniting the passion this is sagittarius energy but this is a lot of love messages as well, all right? Like this, these are called the cubits of arrow. So someone is going to confess about how they truly feel. They want some more flow in the communication and they will communicate about it. Let's see what, what they are going to communicate about because whatever they are going to communicate about, it's something that comes from their heart. It's something that they are feeling very passionate about, all right? Ooh, all right. Hmm. Well, we got another Ace of Wands here, so I don't see it as very negative, even though these cards can indicate that someone is about to communicate that they gave up on fighting for the situation. But to me, this feels like the Seven of Pentacles and the Eight, eight, well, the 
page of swords in the reverse means that they they don't want to read between the lines they want open communication they don't want to invest in like trying to be mysterious with one another like try to hide things from one another or you know they don't want to have these heavy arguments or heavy words said and done between both of you so this is definitely a you know a communication that is based on like should we just please give up on this you know nasty communication that we are having back and forth with one another like that's what i'm seeing here to be honest like this is like we're not investing in the right area if we keep on investing in this page of source in the reverse so i also get the feeling that someone is about to be caught out there when it comes to spying so either this person or you are going to catch this person spying on you and yeah <laughs> that's what i'm seeing but this is definitely a reaching out all right like someone has been feeling sad and depressed over the situation but they're getting out of it all right like they've healed and they just don't want to have this short end communications anymore like they want to invest in something more deeper with you all right what is the blockage for my dear Theresians? Ooh. All right, all right, all right. Ooh, King of Cups, Taurus. So you're blocking your feelings out for an individual, and this individual may have been said, like they, they may have said some things to you that were quite harmful, all right? Like maybe you felt like they were not emotionally enough or like they were emotionally not mature enough and they said some things that really hurt you. All right, and you may not be wanting to recognize how much you do care about them or the situation that is at hand. So in your blockage, we got the Page of Cups, the Hermit, and the Ace of Pentacles. So someone here in the occasion needs to apologize is what I'm seeing here. But there is a lot of distance. Someone is completely withdrawn from you or you are withdrawn from someone. But there are a lot of innocent feelings. So someone needs to prove they're kind of like... Uh, their innocence so either that's this person or you or maybe the whole situation has been very innocent and even though like sometimes the tensions can be very up and something that someone says can be taken very much at heart and even though it, the, the situation or whatever has been said was very innocent but because there was a lot of past life issues someone could have felt like a bit scorned because of that but i feel the innocence is here saying that you might not see the innocence of the situation or this person take it however it resonates all right it can always go vice versa but i feel like whomever has been withdrawn from the situation they have outgrown a situation here and they are ready to give a commitment here there is definitely a big commitment on the table here is that someone wants to reach out or someone wants to give to the other person but because the distance nobody dares to talk about this commitment is what i'm seeing here but i see a lot of love here it could be also a bit of virgo all right maybe someone is taking a bit too long to contemplate and they have taken a bit too long in their retreat and thus the other person is feeling confused whether this is going in the right direction or not but the way i'm seeing it i feel like there is love from both ends but someone needs to you know it's it's scary if you have been in this in this hermit mode and you need to step out of that and start an apology like sometimes we get a acquainted within our own space and then it's hard to close that chapter and actually go into the world like if you have been depressed you know you know yourself that going outside is not like that's like oh my god no kryptonite you know what i mean so someone is feeling like there is some kind of a kryptonite all right what is the blockage Oh, that's such a nice song by the way kryptonite three doors down i believe i'm gonna listen to that song after this reading Ooh, wow what is this jesus we were going so well and then this happened that's probably what just happened in your relationship too but 
I have the Ten of Swords reverse, the King of Swords reverse, and the Seven of Swords upright in their blockage. So someone feels highly betrayed, highly manipulated, um, something from the past came back around and made them feel like their whole world is crumbling down now all right there is someone that is not speaking the truth that has been very cold and detached and they feel the need to run away all right like this is someone that has been ghosting all right this is definitely a ghost and this is like casper the ghost all right and this is not the nice ghost this is the one that will harass you during your sleep kind of ghost that's what i'm seeing because someone has not getting over gotten over this betrayal and they are still like whatever they do it's like that betrayal is always on their mind so this feels like a revenge uh there has been some kind of revenge maybe this revenge has triggered this person to go into a healing or you feel like this person has been trying to get a revenge on you but i see a revenge here so this person may have thought that you were taking a, like you were having a revenge on them or they have been the one doing a revenge on you. That just got deep right there. What just happened? I mean, if that's not you, this person has been through some kind of a very harsh revenge like someone tried to re put revenge on them like something like that that's what i'm seeing here what's the hopes for taurus sense anymore so you are just afraid that every time this person will open up communication the communication will be harsh the communication will be too direct too straightforward and too much of a drama and that's something that you are just not interested in but at the same time i see you definitely waiting for this person to communicate but on a less harsh level all right you do expect this person to um to calm down i feel like someone has been quite outrageous here you do expect this person to calm down and i do see that you are waiting for this person's you know either some kind of a reaction or you're waiting for this person to calm down and to move towards you all right you get the king of cups and the ten of cups so you might be even wanting a water sign cancer pisces scorpio to come towards you or a fire sign sagittarius Aries, or leo could be sun moon or rising but you are waiting for them to calm down all right and you you have your whole heart in this relationship that's what i'm seeing like this relationship has made you feel the ultimate fulfillment that you that your heart could feel that's what i'm seeing here and you're hoping for this person to be more emotionally available towards you or you know treat you with a bit more compassion all right so you're waiting for this person to change the way that they communicate and be a bit more compassionate towards you and because you can see it happening it's probably because this person has been very compassionate in the past and that's how you know them that's how your soul got to know them but something in the occasion probably something that happened in the past or in your past lives triggered this person to behave in a very irrational way all right and now you're just looking at the situation like i know that you are not the person that you are right now and i'm just wondering will that person ever be the guy or the man or the woman that i initially met and fell for so very very deep very deep <clears throat> because i do see that you miss them you miss them a lot that's what i'm seeing here oh gosh what is this prince of pentacles wanted to come out Ooh. 
What's this? Someone is hoping to leave secretly. Be careful. This is the Six of Swords with the High Priestess. Or this person know but like I what I feel because the Six of Swords comes from the Five of Swords. This person knows what will what kind of communication or, or clarity is needed for you in order to come to some kind of an agreement or a peace and this person is holding that sword of communication from you even though that they in, like intuitively know that if they would give you that sword and that sort of truth things will move forward but they're hoping that you will realize something with this high priestess and the six of swords so they know what it takes to make peace with you but they're holding it back all right so they want you to understand something or see something clearly whereas they don't want to explain themselves this is a high priestess the high priestess is a very intuitive sign or it, it could be pisces or virgo this is someone that is very in, highly intuitive and they they keep the book of knowledge they know exactly what they're doing they know that everything happens for a purpose and that you know they, they are completely fine with like retreating themselves with the hermit and waiting for the other person to take action this is a non-action move all right so the non-action is the six of swords so they know how to move things forward but they don't do it and it's perhaps because they want to know if you are interested in that because you are also in a very non-active mood you are also in a waiting game here like waiting to see if this person is going to change their behavior this person is waiting to see if you are going to reach out let's see one more card for yeah two of wands they want you to make the decision to come towards them king of wands at the bottom of the deck so this person is, you know, they want, they already made the decision, like at the end there will be peace, but they want you to realize something intuitively, like maybe there was some kind of an accusation going on and they don't want to explain themselves when it comes to this accusation. They're like, you need to figure out yourself that I am not like that. Yeah, Princess of Cups, look at that. And the Ten of Cups, so you both have the Ten of Cups. You both are happy with one another, even though the circumstances are very fragile at this point. All right, things may have seemed to have fallen apart, but it's not. It's just a fragment of your life at this point. So someone in the occasion needs to stop being dramatic, all right? Or maybe perhaps both of you need to stop being dramatic. And with this Princess of Cups, they have a lot of genuine love for you. They want to express this express this this person is also wanting to move towards you maybe in secret if you had a secret affair with with this individual they want to move towards you secretly all right I, this is someone that wants to surprise you as well like this is a surprising individual like they will just like surprise you out of the blue is what i'm seeing very interesting i am definitely going to look a little bit deeper deeper into this okay because I'm, I'm i feel that this might not be you maybe someone maybe someone manipulated them in the past all right like there was definitely a revenge that was taking on this individual that was maybe correlated to you because somehow with this judgment card it seems that you had a connection and maybe this person just hmm maybe this trauma just triggered them to accuse you in a situation is what I'm getting something in that we are um, all right so I'm going to pull some cards for the fears and outside influence and I'm going to discuss them in the extended reading so let's see what we got going on yeah Look at that Ace of Swords. That's the Ace of Swords in the reverse that this person is not handing to you, which you are afraid of. So there is something that you really, truly want to know, like in, in the depth of your soul. Ten of Swords, you know, wow. Six of Wands. And then we have the Temperance card, the Ego. 
This is very interesting. What is the out, um, fear for the other person? Knight of Wands in the reverse. Two of Cups in the reverse. Nine of Wands in the reverse. And the Six of Coins in the reverse. Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This person definitely feels like someone has been taking advantage of them or you feel that way. Nine of Wands reverse, Nine of Wands, Nine of Wands reverse, Two of Cups reverse, and the Six of Pentacles reverse. So, my dear Theresians, I hope this reading really helped you guys out. I am going to continue this reading with the outside influences and see how they feel about you, how you feel about them, and of course, some extra cards as you guys are already familiar with um, Vimeo. So, I see you guys later and wishing you a blessed September. Thank you and bye.